Oh, uh, <laughs> great. oh man, the little hi hit is so good. Are you as musically gifted as me? Probably not. But if you're making a tutorial, a vlog, or an ad for Insta, you'll want to pair it with some music to engage your audience. And from my experience, royalty-free music that actually sounds legit can be really hard to find. Well, not anymore. Canva has a free audio library with hundreds of professional sounding songs to choose from. Stick around and I'll show you how to select the right rhythms for whatever you're creating. Hi, I'm Nick from Canva and I'm an educator from Design School. Let me guess, your video is almost complete but you can't find any decent audio to bring it home. Well, in today's tutorial, I'll show you how to select and add music for different audiences and purposes using Canva. We'll explore top tracks for how-to videos, cooking demos, and many more. I'll even walk you through how to add sound effects. If you like the sound of that, subscribe to our channel for more great content. We release weekly videos that you won't want to miss. All right, let's get started. Have you noticed the background music that's playing throughout this video? We use the same style of music for most of our design school tutorials. Usually something that's upbeat, contemporary, and maybe a bit funky. Most tracks with a moderate to fast pace are great for how-to videos. They add energy and help keep things moving. Let's listen to another example. How good was that track? Were you surprised that it had vocals? If the tutorial had a voiceover, I would have gone with an instrumental track instead. But in this instance, it was perfect. Let me show you how easy it was to add in Canva. So here's the project I created from an Instagram template. To add music, I'll head over here and hit audio. I can type whatever I want into the search bar or click one of these suggestions up the top. There are lots of free tracks as well as ones reserved for subscribers. See that crown icon? That means you've got to have a pro or Canva for Teams account or be signed up for a 30 day free trial. If I click on this icon, I can filter the results. For example, to find the track I played before, I ticked vocals and searched for pop. There's a play button over here to preview tracks. Once I've found something I like, all I have to do is click on the title and it will add automatically. This view is set up as a series of pages instead of a video, but you can now use the zoom slider to display the audio and visuals side by side in a timeline. To adjust the start and end point of your track, you can move this here. Make the music fade in or out at the beginning by adjusting these sliders and modify the volume here. To play what you've just created, simply hit the play button. Inside your bedroom, we stopped counting the days left in the rhythm. And when you're happy with how it sounds, you can download it by clicking share, then download. All right, let's listen to another great track for a how-to video. This time something more friendly. I can imagine this track also working for a family video or to advertise goods and services. 
It would even be great for kids' entertainment. Now that we've covered all the technical stuff, let's continue to explore Canva's audio library. Let's say you need music for a product advertisement. This one's top of my list. That track was listed under the search term happy, and I can see why. It's super upbeat and will put anyone in a good mood. And I really like how the visuals transition on the beat. Do this by paying attention to the waveform. Each section has been timed to coincide with these small breaks. When you're building your video, adjust the timing by dragging these edges in or out. It might take you a few goes to get it just right, but it'll be worth it. Next up, audio for travel content. When you're making a travel vlog, your aim is to inspire the audience. You want them to feel what it's like to be there with you. So you need to pick music that ties in with the theme of the trip. For example, a romantic getaway to Italy is gonna require different music to a night out with your friends. Let me show you what I picked for a video shot in Ibiza. Geez, that music brought back some memories. And that's what it's all about, right? Use music that helps transport the viewer and brings about different emotions. What did you think of when you heard that track? Let me know in the comments if it triggered any fun travel memories for you. All right, let's say you've created a new intro for your YouTube channel. You'll want some unique audio to go with it. Something as simple as that can give your video the edge and set you apart from other content creators. By adding something quirky, viewers are more likely to remember who you are and recognize your content in the future. Now let's cover the subtle but significant role of background music for an interview. Good background music can be hard to come by as the beat needs to remain fairly consistent throughout. It should be mellow without being too slow or dull. Here's my top pick. Number one, um, no ego. There is no ownership, it's co-ownership. Number two, mutual respect. If there isn't mutual respect, collaboration is quite hard to do. Uh, number three, know your value and appreciate other people's value. And then get out of the way because if you're respecting somebody and what they do and you trust them, you don't need to have your fingers all over it. Another thing to consider with background music is the volume. You want it to be just loud enough to enjoy without distracting from the people speaking. I recommend lowering it to roughly half of the original level. And last but not least, we have sound effects. Check out this cute animation I created for school kids. Ah, I like the sound of the ocean, very calming. There's loads of great sound effects on Canva. They can be found in the audio panel along with the music. The easiest way to find them is to apply a filter before you search. The effects featured in this video were all listed under nature. And that's all we have time for today. I hope my top music tips have left you feeling inspired and ready to dive into the audio library. And remember, if you're feeling super creative, you can always record your own music and upload it straight into Canva via the Uploads tab, if that's your jam. Before you go, chuck us a like and subscribe to stay updated. That way you can learn interesting tips and techniques on a weekly basis. If you'd like to learn how to use all of the features in Canva's video editor, check out our other video which covers all of the fundamentals. Catch you next time.